Hi everyone, so final video review for this week is for Falling by Chris Bryant, um, which I got from NetGalley as a review copy. Um, if you would like to check out my Goodreads review, I have just posted that, so if you're on Facebook there is a link below um, all the other videos, or if you're on YouTube there is a link in the description below. And this is a video review, so, oh my god, Falling by Chris Bryant, oh my god. So I had this book recommended to me. Um, by Rachel, lay reviewer, and she said, "You've got to read this. It's so good." And I was like, "Okay, adding it to the list. Gonna read it." And I didn't know what to expect because I have never read anything by Chris Bryant before. But I don't even know where to start telling you how fabulous this was. It was. Oh, I'd heard nothing but good things, so I knew I was in for a good story. But I don't. I didn't realise I was in for that. And then I picked it up, and somewhere. I kind of got lost in the book, completely lost. I was completely lost within the pages, and that's really hard to do when it's a Kindle book, but oh my God, I got completely lost in this story. So it's been quite an emotional week in terms of stories. I've spent a lot of time crying, I've spent a lot of time lost in books, but this one, oh my God, I was so addicted to it. Um, and I had to read it in smaller chunks because I spent so much time crying. <laughs> it was so emotional, that first chapter. You read that first chapter, you like need a year to get over it. Oh my god! Um, but unfortunately, it's one of those first chapters that oh, you're hooked, you're hooked from the very second, and therefore it is impossible to put the book down because if you put it down after chapter one, you probably just sit and cry forever, and then you'd never know what happened. And you and it, it, it demands that you you continue reading. It literally demands. It's like read more of me, and oh my god, it was so good. I have never, ever, ever been on the edge of my seat with a book as I was when the moment I started reading this book. Like, literally, I have never, like, oh my god. Like, talk about dramatic entrance. That, that is how you make an entrance with a book. Do you know what I mean? Chapter one, that's, that is how you do it. Um, Chris just dived straight in. And, um, oh my god. Yeah, I'm still, like, even when I think about it, I'm, I'm still, like, super shocked that that is how this book started. I mean, if you've read the book, you're totally going to know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't read the book, I totally hope you want to know what I'm talking about, because, oh my god. So, anyway, the story is about Shaylee. And it's really charged, it's really emotional, and it is not for the faint-hearted. Believe me. Um, it's action-packed, and just like Shaylee in this book, you will totally end up falling for it. So very hard. This whole book there's not a single thing about it that you won't love it's fantastic so after going through the traumatic and terrifying experience with Shaylee at the start uh, she starts to pick herself up and she's getting on with her life with quite a bit of help um, and support um, but how she does that I will never know um, if I'd been through what Shaylee goes through in this book I think I would just be I don't know what I would be um, it was super traumatic um, and I am totally in awe of her and her character for how she just really got on with her life um, when she meets Piper uh, that's when um, the story really starts to unfold but the surrounding circumstances aren't ideal uh, so she's really lucky she's um, she's got a best friend and she's um, her best friend's really, really supportive, uh, but not so much of her relationship with Piper at first because, like I say, surrounding circumstances. So, she, she tries to make the best of it, and they both try to make the best of it. They, It's really slow burn. They're, they sort of go through friendship um, as the first stage, and it's really hard for Shaylee because she knows something that she really wants to tell Piper, but she doesn't see the point um, and this all links into that opening chapter um, so there is a lot going on there for Shaylee she's dealing with a lot and she's got a new friendship she's got her best friend uh, Marissa who is like I say supportive but wary um, and only because she's she wants the best for Shaylee and she's looking out for her she doesn't want her to get hurt and I think that's really cute and their their relationship as well as her building friendship and relationship with Piper was really nice to see it was really cute and done in a lovely way um so i really was rooting for them the whole way through the book and then, then like 
as with all romances, like it can't just be straightforward, can it? You know, there has to be heaps and heaps of drama. So in came all the drama, and I'm like, but we've had enough drama at the beginning. But honestly, you need like the drama was brilliant. Like I'm not, I'm not Chris. I love drama. I do. I love it, and it was all the way throughout the book, and I just love it. Oh my god, it's never simple. Like when just when you think, you know. Just when you think everyone's got everything figured out and here comes happily ever after, you know, there's a curveball, there's always a curveball, that's romance, that's what you need. Um, but yeah, it just, it really brought the story to life and it was just filled with so many cute moments and happiness to balance out all this angsty stuff um, and all this trauma and terrifying experience at the beginning. And it was just a really beautiful reminder that if you are alive, you should live your life um really emotional it did make me cry i look like i'm about to, i am about to cry i'm just thinking about it i'm just i'm thinking about everything that shaley goes through in this book and i'm thinking about how much you know even though i can't personally relate to what she went through as a character i can relate to some of those emotions and feelings and i was really you know pleased that she came through it um as triumphantly as she as she could um this is a story that you just need to read i i honestly can't rave about it enough without spoiling it for you um like you genu genuinely you need to read it because you need to figure out what it is that's got me so highly charged um with emotion um i cried so much i smiled so hard and i screamed at some pages um but i just couldn't I just couldn't help but get emotionally invested in this story. I loved every single word, every single moment. And if you are a romance lover, you will not be disappointed in this book at all. And if you need something to read just because you want a great book recommendation, grab Falling by Chris Bryant, because this is so good. Anyway, it's good. Check it out. So you can check it out. I'm going to pop a link in the description. Um, go grab yourselves a copy. Um, if you've read Falling by Chris Bryant, which I know some of you have, please, 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 please come and chat to me about it. Oh my god, it's amazing. Um, let me know what you thought of it. Let me know how emotionally invested in Shaylee's story you got. Um, if you haven't read it yet or it's on your to read, list, to read list, again, please let us know. It's always great to know what you have got on your read list. And if you do read it, I really, really, really hope you have the best time reading it. I really, really hope it takes over your life like it's sort of taken over mine a little bit. And I really, really hope you enjoy it. Bye!